Hello and welcome to Best of British, where we highlight companies, some of whom you'll know, some of whom you may never have heard of, who all have one thing in common. They represent the very best of British engineering and manufacturing. Today we look at Brompton Bicycle, the London-based manufacturer of those ingenious and iconic fold-up bikes. For those with long enough memories, there was a time when the Brompton was a serious head-turner. Invented by Andrew Ritchie in 1971, it took over 15 years for the idea to get enough traction and backing to become a fully-fledged business. But when it did, it really took off. The great thing about the Brompton is it lasts 20 years. So every year we have grown in the last nearly 20 years between 15 and 20%. And those bikes, those bikes that we sold 20 years ago, are still being used. So you're not just seeing the ones we sold this year, but when you see a Brompton, you're seeing one that might be 10 years old, 15 years old. And so you're, you're starting to think, my God, they're everywhere. And that has built momentum. And people then ask somebody about it. That builds awareness. And it's been great for the brand. But remember, we are synonymous and we are commonplace in London. But in most cities in the world, if you turn up with a Brompton, people go, oh my word, what is that? So we've still got a long way to go. Where they are is great by any standards. Figures like these demonstrate superior performance in the market as well as on the road. It's doubly impressive because Brompton bicycles are all made by hand, and that is for a very good reason. And of course, they're priced accordingly. The bicycle is the most efficient form of transport ever developed. And really what it's doing is taking your energy and turning it into forward movement. And the most efficient way of doing that is through a stiff frame. And that's what a bicycle is. But obviously, if you want to have a bike that you can fold up, that um, gives you that freedom, you need to put hinges in it. And that does not go well with nice, stiff frame and transfer. So the design of those hinges and the interface between the hinge and the frame needs to be really well thought through because those are stress raisers and there's plenty of opportunity to introduce play, which itself causes fatigue, which causes the frame to fail. So getting that design right, and not just the design, but the manufacturing capability to deliver it very, very consistently and very accurately. Because if you start with a tiny, tiny error, when you extrapolate that over 5, 10, 15 years, it becomes a big problem. So you have to start with a very, very tight tolerance. And, and effectively, that is the difficulty. There's no magic. It's just difficult. It requires care, thought and repeatability. It works and it's worked for years. But then the EV revolution came along and brought Brompton new challenges. We were a metal basher. That's what we were very good with, metal. If you're going to succeed in electric drive systems, you need to move into the software and into the electronics business. And we couldn't buy something off the shelf because our bike is so unique that nothing off the shelf would fit and none of those suppliers were prepared to give us what we wanted. So we reached out to Williams, the fast car people, um, because actually they had been putting motors and dynamos inside their F1 cars for a long time and optimizing efficiency. And they also had batteries to, 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 to collect that um, dynamo power and then use it to allow the car to be more efficient still. So initially we used them, but you know, it's taken us five years to integrate software and electronics into our business such that now you know, we still have a long way to go, but we have 20 engineers in that part of our business and we we know a lot more than Williams and anyone else in the world about how our system works and how to improve it. But it has been a steep, scary, rough and ready journey because it's not, it's not a smooth journey to move and change how your business operates. The battery is something, it's our own design, but we work with a third party. And it, the, what we did that was so clever is we integrate it into the luggage. So when you fold the bike, you distribute the weight and you don't have it all in one arm and have your arm falling off. Um, and that was brilliant, but, but there's, you know, the, the motors and the controller is, is many respects way more complex than the battery. Um, but we haven't solved it. We've started on a journey of learning and we've got a product that we absolutely love. Um, but of course, 
in the world of electronics and software, as soon as you produce something, you're already thinking, well, well, we could do this, and now technology's moved on, and now we could do this. And so you're permanently rushing forward with new ideas and, and developing the next iteration. Brompton may be quintessentially British, but it is a global brand. The company has over 600 team members in overseas markets, which takes 75% of the bicycles they make. For Brompton, that's good, but nowhere near good enough. Yes, of course, they want to sell more bikes, but they're driven by a much bigger idea. We want to change how people live in cities. That's it. It's bizarre, really. Um, in the last 50 years, or I'd say 60 years now, because time whips by, the world has become urban. But it wasn't a Western thing. It wasn't a communist thing. It happened in China, America, Europe you know, Africa, we've become urban. Net migration to cities has just happened. And there's been this sort of, everybody's being told, well, we're becoming richer, we're, we're all better off, and, you know, quality of life's gone up. But has it really? If you look at how people live in cities, the place where most of the world's population live is the, not, is the least healthiest place to live. The air quality is poor, the mental health is poor, the physical health is poor. It doesn't need to be like that. So for us, we, by designing useful, efficient products, can change how a city lives and breeds. And if you look at the size of cities, even some of the bigger cities, with the, with the addition of electric drive, we don't need great big smelly vehicles. We don't need the internal combustion engine. We don't even need the electric car because it's using way, way, way too much space. We need walking cycling, cargo bikes, and that would make our cities wonderfully rich places to live. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Now that's what I call a business with a mission. Will Butler Adams of Brompton Bicycle. This has been Best of British. Thanks for watching.